Welcome, I'm Kate. Ad free versions and subtitles are available. I messed up. I deleted three weeks worth of footage. Three weeks of footage gone. Completely, utterly gone because I pushed off a task that I should not have pushed off. I didn't have backups. And then things broke at the worst time. Murphy's Law at work. Anything that can go wrong, will go wrong. Murphy and I have a very intimate relationship. Unfortunately, this means there is very little footage from the first three weeks of October. So, let me try to catch you up. 138. I messed this up. October 2 through 5, 2024. I'm most sad to have lost the green tomato footage. The tomatoes in my greenhouse aren't turning red. And earlier today, I figured out why none of them are turning red, but some of them were looking a little wonky. I took one home about two weeks ago because it was the tiniest little bit blushed at the bottom to ripen it at home. And now, well, it's soft, it's delicious, but it is still green. So I went back through the history of what I had planted, and it turns out one of the varieties I planted is a Moldovan green. Luckily, I didn't miss any, but I realized, I think, just in time, because a lot of these are very close to the point where I would harvest them. So yeah, I think we're going to make it. We're going to get these ripe enough to harvest before the first frosts. We won't, but that's okay. I love green tomatoes instead. I chickened out at one degree on the forecast. I'm watching the weather forecast very carefully because I still have some peppers in the beds. There's chilies over there on the plant that I would very much like to ripen before we get to the first frost. But we're getting closer and closer to that big fat zero on the thermometer. And I have to dig these up and move them to the greenhouse before that happens. I might get away with covering them for a couple of days, but in the long run, these need to be dug up and move indoors or into the greenhouse. Some things will run out of time this year just because we had such a dark summer. There just wasn't enough energy to ripen a lot of things. Add the fact that I planted a lot of things at the last minute, the last minute wasn't good enough this year. So we're probably not going to have any black corn and one single green corn. But I'll be very happy if that single one ripens because if I have one cob of corn, I can grow more of it next year. I will have to get black corn seeds from somewhere else and we're also going to be growing sugar, uh, sweet corn. Um, it's called sugar corn in German. Yeah, uh, we're also going to grow sweet corn next year, but I don't have any seed for that. So we're going to have to buy corn seed next year. The strawberries I planted are taking very, very well. I will have to do some minor weeding to get rid of the dandelions and such, but it's looking very good. There's a lot of strawberry plants here, and I also have some over on the forest plot. I don't think I showed you this yet. I've got this bucket here. It's a bucket of cuttings from uh, berry branches and wine. I've got gooseberry in there, I've got currant in there, and I've got wine from the neighbor in there, just to see if I can't propagate them for next year. I have more of them in front of the greenhouse. The former potato beds are now winter greens. The first one's filled with spinach already. I should probably go harvest a lot of that spinach very soon. Then we've got the brassica bed, where unfortunately only the front half survived. The back half is looking very empty. I'm going to put some field beans in there this week. Similar story here, just not looking very good. I'm going to fill that up with field beans as well. But over here, we've got some actual beets and chart that are looking great. And then more spinach. This one was planted later. It's a butterfly. The other one's a riddle, so that's looking very good. And the salsify is looking great as well. This ground copper will terminate soon, then we'll put onions and garlic in there. And over here, next to this beautiful clover, 
we've got the first signs of corn salad. Just yeah. down there. And the winter legumes are growing in well. The other berry bushes are in front of the greenhouse. We've got the two blueberry bushes I planted earlier this spring. And they're looking good, but definitely going into winter mode. And then I've got some random berry bushes hopefully surviving down here. I just chopped them off the berry bushes and stuffed them into the containers. All of this leaf stuff will fall off. That's totally normal, but I'm hoping that they will root. And come springtime, there will be tiny little berry bushes. And this here is a part of the mint plant from my balcony. I'm hoping to move some of that into the garden, but I know that I have to be careful with it taking over. But I do use a lot of mint, so I'm kind of hoping that I can find a place to put it where I can grow but not overgrow. We'll see. Probably somewhere in the food forest over there. There is a lot of room there. For now, it's in a container, so it's not going anywhere. It's going to die back this winter, and then we're going to figure out where to put it. My neighbors gave me these alpine strawberries over here and they've been producing fruit all summer long. And over here, they are making all these little shoots that reach all the way over here. And we're just gonna let them go and see where they pop up. We don't care if we can't use the area properly. We are happy to get strawberries. And if they're in the way, we'll deal with it. But for now, we're just letting them roam. I'm even adding some over here. These are from the neighbor's greenhouse, which is going to get torn down early next year. So I asked him if I could have the plants and he let me move them over to my plot, where they are now taking over a good region. There's also still the lavender plants that my neighbors gave me. Two of them are looking very happy. I think I killed the third one. That's this overgrown thing here. But this one's looking great. And then over here, the other one's looking great as well. And this is the thyme that one of the neighbors gave me earlier this year. It is recovering, so I'm hoping that I actually managed to get it established. This is the only surviving raspberry of the raspberries that I tried to save from the neighbor. So this one's looking actually like it's going to make it. We are going to have raspberries at some point. I still get sunflowers in the garden. It is so close to the first frost, but we still have sunflowers in the garden and some other things still have blossoms on them as well. Well, I really, really like that I still get flowers this close to the first frost. It's so cool. I put a thermometer in the greenhouse just to get an idea of how cold it actually gets in here. And right now, even in the greenhouse, yes, granted, the door is open, but still, it's only 15 degrees. It's really, really cold today, and it's only going to get colder. I'm still hoping that the greenhouse will stay warm enough for me to overwinter some of the plants in here. We're going to see once all the tomatoes are out. And this is where the cohesive story ends. Please excuse the ugly chaos. I did my best for you. October wasn't just cold, it was also dark. This is my best attempt at showing you just how dark. I foraged for chestnuts with neighbors, then went back for a second unsuccessful attempt with my husband. The drone batteries were empty too, so this was all the footage we got. Ah, well. We decided to check for mushrooms as the weather felt just right for fruiting. The mushrooms didn't agree. But it didn't matter. We went on a nice walk, breathed some fresh air and enjoyed some quiet. Every day I checked the chestnuts we'd harvested a few weeks earlier if more had opened up. I'm glad we harvested them closed with all of them gone just a week later. I'm very grateful for the gloves I'd gotten for the blackberry brambles. They worked like a charm. Seriously, the thorns on these sweet chestnuts are no joke. But so worth it. We finally figured out what this bush is. It's an aster. 
I'm a huge fan. I reshaped the former tomato bed. The view is a bit shorter with more room in the bed next to it and a proper path. As there was cover crop growing in a lot of the bed, this is a patchwork mess now, but that's fine. I harvested the first of our balcony radishes. I really need to harvest the rest. Okay, seriously, I've used up all the footage now and it's all photos from now on. I am trying here. I got more chestnuts. I harvested all the green tomatoes and tore out the plants. Well, chopped them off. The roots stay in the ground. Remember, I said I'd rescue sunflowers from mold? There, next to the green tomatoes. The pepper is moved into the greenhouse with a bed of straw. I made salsa verde roasted and unroasted. It turned out great. I'm now a green tomato fan. I published a new book and got print samples of all of them. I have to fix two of the covers, but it's okay. The words matter. I needed more beds for garlic and onion. So a lot of the missing time we spent weeding, planting and mulching the new beds next to the greenhouse. We added final harvests of squashes and more mushrooms. I did go back for more apples and preserved them all. I made more beds, planted more than 200 cloves of garlic, two beds of onions and two beds of overwintering beans. I harvested a single corn of cob. Okay, not even half a cob. I guess I still wasn't done making beds. It was a lot. I'm essentially doubling the growing space on the plot this winter. I harvested the first beets, a chioccia and a winter zona. I propagated berry bushes and wine and spotted the first green. Repaired the dishwasher. Yes, again. The kitchen mint survived being dropped into the fridge. Mint really is hard to kill. The transplanted mullein was taking nicely. It looks great. The neighbors plot past hands and they mowed the lawns. A lot of mulch for me to use up. I could use more already. The tomato bed is mulched. The strawberries received some, well, straw. And different kinds of overwintering beds were tried everywhere. And then I lost all the footage. You've missed a lot. I wish I could have shown you all of it. I sent this clip to someone by accident, so you get to see the steaming hot compost before I spread it out, I guess. So long and thanks for being here. If you want to help me make these videos, go to rootsandcalluses.com slash support. Prefer reading? There are also my novels out there and you can buy those to support me instead. Bye.